anyone has gone close to time so far today, but um, I don't anticipate this one will either. Oh, you never know. I mean, I was I was mentioning in round one that uh, I was watching some of the Discord League World Cup games, mm -hmm. and in one particular one was uh, I'm gonna forget the names of the players that were on uh, on the game. It was it was being commentated on by Minds Desire, but it was uh, Philippines versus France, and I think that the France player was. The French player was the Crane deck, and then the Filipino player was the, the Scorpion deck. But uh, as I was discussing with Jonathan in between rounds, actually, because he had seen that match too, he said, the only way I'm going to win this match is if I also draw three Guests of Honors three turns in a row. Yeah. <laughs> and um, key cards in this matchup for Jonathan are going to be Soul Beyond Reproach, if you want to bring that card up, uh, Travis. That's, uh, I think, that the card that came out in the last pack. Uh, very strong for air roll uh, clans, which uh, can bring a character from the brink of dishonor yeah. back to fully honored status. So one cute thing I've seen uh, seen these crane decks do is uh, uh, this particular crane deck, is, as well as the one that I saw in the Discord World Cup, is uh, Scorpion Splash. So the Scorpion Splash is usually uh, either two or three calling in favors, right. uh, some amount of fate worse than deaths. Uh, if it's the Seeker of Air, then it's probably something like two Fate Worse than Deaths and two Calling in Favors. Yeah. Oh, that's ten influence, right? Yeah. So you, you use Calling in Favors to steal the attachment, and then you just use Soul Beyond Reproach to honor it back to fully honored status. For someone who complains about playing Scorpion all the time, Sunko doesn't never stops playing Scorpion. Does he complain, really? He's just like, oh, I feel like I'm giving my other players bad experience. So it's very much NP, negative play experience. So I, feel like, I feel like a lot of that is uh, left over from maybe the earliest uh, days of the previous cycle. Yeah. As, as, as it seems, it seems like Scorpion really, I mean, it's so-called the best of the rest now, but apparently the big bad is now the dragon deck. Absolutely. Uh, it's just, it, it's a clan that focuses on denying people the opportunity to act or taking their actions away. Sorry, Travis, can you remind me, uh, when you were in the, the Conquest World Championship, which, uh, which faction did you play? And what was that faction known for? So, I, I mean, oh, I, not, played, I played different factions, <laughs> but uh, the year well, you that... Played, you played Orcs, actually, in the last... Yeah, the, when, I, yeah. The, when I did was Top 16, I was playing um, Dark Eldar. But I'd been playing Dark Eldar since the beginning of the game, before... Everyone yeah. knew how right. crazy it but, was. But, I mean, as much as people complain about Scorpion in L5R, I mean, any of you who are familiar with Warhammer Conquest, sure. it was it was the specifically the Packmaster Kith Dark Eldar decks. That yeah. were, I think they won every world except for the first one. I mean, every, as in, like, two out of three. Yes. But, yeah, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, coming back to the game, we see early Yoga Heroe by Sungho. Uh, and answered by a cautious scout, Jonathan going with his first military conflict into upholding authority with just his cautious scout. Um, that's actually pretty good for Jonathan as long as he can break. He can turn off the ability. Uh, I do see two assassinates in Sung Ho's hand though. Is that a defense? By I mean, it looks I, like he was I don't declaring a defense, but I mean, it seems crazy. He does have two assassinates. I don't. I don't see any reason why you would defend. Even if you didn't have a. Well, okay. Yeah. There we go. Assassinate. Crunch. Motokiro says that this match is interesting. Yeah, I think. Um, I think this this kind of match match can be very interesting. It's a. Uh, it's basically two control decks finding each other, right? And they both have different angles of attack. The, the Dishonor pressure is a little more real with, uh, with the Scorpion deck, but... So Iron Warrior, do you remember what that does? I guess, I know it has something to do with uh, enemy characters can't use actions, I think, with strength less than it or something, if you do its ability. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So it, it's not really going to be relevant in this this fight but uh, he does play Maze of Illusion but looks like looks Jonathan like guessed, guessed correctly right? ooh 
Ooh. Wave the crane. Maybe he has two. And then uh, wave the scorpion. Here you go. So he's not going to have to. He's just trying to keep. I think he's trying to keep Jonathan off uh, Voice of Honor. The Voice of Honor yeah. uh, condition. Yeah. I, I think Jonathan at this point is also just thinking about what the upholding authority targets are going to look like. Yeah. Yeah, we were talking about that last round, right? I mean, if you can make the uh, decision a little bit harder, if you don't have, uh, if you don't have multiple copies of one card in your hand, it takes the fate worse than death. That's interesting. And the sun is here. We. That's also the firing. good. Yeah, because that that turns off any potential uh, forged edict. Yes. Yeah. Kuroi with a Earthring political conflict into Frostbitten Crossing. I see a clarity of purpose in uh, Sungo's hand. I don't think this is the right time to play it, though. Uh, no, he can't do anything any, with another yeah, conflict. Yeah, any military conflict to follow it up. But um, Earthring's always good. One, one of the other things uh, I gleaned from Anil... Mind's Desire when I was watching that Discord World Cup match. Yeah. He was talking about the Earth Ring and how some people think it's uh it's not it's not a very good ring to attack when both players have a lot of cards in their hand. Nope. Oh yeah. And right. He, but he insists. Yeah. I mean but So uses but, uses a stronghold here to bow yeah. heroic because he's only got two strength. Right. Sunghow goes to the court game. Sorry, I just want to make sure we're yeah, yeah. keeping up so, yeah. the action. Sorry about that. Yeah. So you're Anil was yeah, Anil, Anil just says that he always goes after his ring because it's always uh it's always useful. I mean it makes sense. If you like over a large enough period of time, uh, you know, you can definitely snowball a big advantage with it. And, and Neil is right. It's always relevant in the sense that even if your opponent has no cards in hand, you always get to draw a card, too. Right. So Jonathan decides to take political favor. Hard to say who has the advantage right now, but Sung Ho does have a have a fu a, a non dishonored hero way in play with a with a fate on it. Jonathan throwing away Callow delegates and what was the other guy he threw away? I forget. Uh, yeah, I think it was Asami. Was it Asami? I I didn't. I wasn't looking. Flop is uh, <laughs> a little bit skewed on the military side, which is actually not bad. Doji Challenger coming out on Jonathan's side. He's trying to decide what kind of investment to make. Puts two on her. That Mia Mystic is perhaps... Uh, well, that was the only character he could play. It's the only character he could play. <laughs> so. Never mind. We see a Cautious come out as well. And then go to Dials. Pretty lucky for Jonathan that the Imperial Palace ended up on a broken province. That's a good point. Oh, looks like... Uh, Sung-ho steals one on it, only bids four here. Yeah, I think because he knew that... Uh, yeah, he knew Jonathan was probably going to bid five, so by bidding one less, he was able to take one on her from John and still be able to use his box. Yeah. Because uh, he does have another assassinate in his hand. So he's like, I can and take some on scout is always a good target for that. Yeah, exactly. Man, I didn't really think about back alley hideaway. Oh, never mind. It's never mind. You thought it was hidden moon dojo? No, no. I for, I forgot about the uh, scorpion character restriction. I was thinking it'd be actually a pretty useful way to recur uh, Mia Mystics to get some more removal. But I but I mean I don't think this is a game where attachments are going to matter all that much unless it's uh, Cloud yeah. of Mine, right? So it's a more of a defensive Mia Mystic. Uh, so we saw Stuart of Law coming out in that defense yep. and got assassinated immediately. Well, yeah, I mean, Sung Ho knows that he's got two uh, Four Shames and Jonathan has two yeah. Four Shames in his hand from that upholding authority trigger.
So we honor Quirky. throw away. Going up with six strength. Uh, Ooh, a clarity purpose. Yep, this is the time to use it. <coughs> Bringing in the challenger. So that puts uh, John at four yep. versus six. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, you get to dishonor the challenger uh, if Sung Ho wins. Even if even if Jonathan somehow dishonors Hiroway, he's still going to be winning the conflict, and he's yeah. not going to bow either. Interesting choice. Ornate fan is going to bring him a six. Yeah, I think I think Sung Hao is just going to stand. John is just here. making sure that yeah. the four shame will still have an effect if he played it. Yeah, I think Sung Ho should just pass here. Yeah, that was pretty good clarity of purpose for uh, Sung Ho. Yeah, it was. <clears throat> Sorry, not clarity of purpose, but conflict. Ooh. Yeah, the water ring also lets him bow out the Akasha Scout on Jonathan's side. Oh, yeah, right. I was thinking a four shame would have been good there, but then I guess E doesn't actually have a courtier, so. You're saying Jonathan doesn't yeah. have a courtier? Yeah. Earth ring. Again. Yeah, just keep pressuring that earth ring. I like that. So here's a, a conflict for two military. I see a uh, Yoga Kakuyo in Sungo's hand, the uh, counter spell Shigenja. Not sure if Jonathan's running any spells. The Kakuyo only counters a spell event, right? It doesn't counter stuff like Cloud of the Mind? Yes. Okay. So that's another honor taken from. Jonathan, but Jonathan is sitting at seven honor. Still got so, a lot. Yeah, Sungo can still. Oh, nice. Oh, sorry. I thought that was an assassin on the Mia no, Mystic. No. Actually, that no, oh. it doesn't matter. The Mia Mystic yeah. is going to get rid of the fan because it's going away anyways. Sungo will leave it on uh, political. Yeah, this this uh, that turn was very well played by Sungho. Like he kept. He's he's at six honor. He he managed to do the the whole honor dance thing last round with the card draw, where yeah. he was able to still have one less honor than his opponent and steal with the box. And now he's looking to do the same thing this turn. Yeah, uh, being at one less honor than his opponent. And then now he's sitting on a on a lot of fate. I'm surprised he doesn't throw away the favorable ground. He almost got punished for it too. Look. City of Lies. Uh, we see a guest of honor on Jonathan's side. Yeah, that's going to be a snap by for Jonathan. Yeah, yeah four, four guys. Four, a. Uh, 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 sorry. Three fate on that guest of honor. I think you should have one fate left. Yeah. But the, the difference between this one and the other game I mentioned is that that, that guest of honor came down early when the opponent didn't have uh, a cumulative uh, set of resources that he was getting over the last couple of turns. Like yeah. right now, sungo has got a fully armed and operational Beyushi Shoju and a Yoga Harue with an honor on it, plus the Imperial Favor. He's going to steal one more honor from Jonathan with his box. That's going to bring John back down to six versus Sungho seven. Sungo has even has enough money left over for Bayushiki Kachiko with two honor on it. Well, I mean, there's lots of fate on the board yeah. to be grabbed, so. So 
Sung Ho's looking like he's in a pretty good spot right now. So the bid is three, probably three to four, looks like. I wonder if that was deliberate on uh, Sung Ho's side. But also, look at this. He Because he uh, he bid one more, uh, uh, Sung Ho actually just drew an I can swim. So oh. if he wants to, he can kill that Doji Challenger right now. Actually, no, sorry. It has to be during a conflict, right? Yeah. And is it participating? I can swim as a participating character? Uh, I character? don't know that it is. Yeah, participating. Okay. So he has to he has to get Doji Challenger into a conflict first. Yeah. Which is not well, hard to no, do. It's with not very difficult. <laughs> Uh, RJ, we don't have uh, Deckless. Uh, it's, a rel it's a small event, so we haven't bothered uh, collecting Deckless. Yeah, uh, someone also asked that uh, in the YouTube video that we uploaded. Usually when it's a bigger event, like a Stronghold Showdown, yeah. uh, or sorry, the Shogun Challenge that's happening in October. Um, we'll we're going to have, gonna have Deckless for that. Uh, elemental Challenges are coming up either at the end of this year or early next uh, year. Who knows? Well... Uh, I'm in talks right now with Graham. He wants to run an elemental challenge at one of the video game conventions that are happening in November. So anyway, if that ha if, it, if that comes through, uh, we'll probably have something like that lined up for you at the end of the year. So that's it for the challenger. I can swim. She's gone. I'm guessing the, the conflict was not defended by Sungho. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, another menacing Iron Warrior played out. He's going to need three more force to break this. I don't know, I guess here we is, uh, is in the conflict. Yeah, okay. So it's, oh, and it looks like the Guest of Honor is in too? What? Uh, hey, RJ, please. thanks for the compliment. Bring in? He can't bring in <laughs> Guest of Honor, right? No. I, I'm not sure what's in the conflict right now. He hadn't triggered the Menacing Warrior yet, so the ability is in effect, oh, so sorry, here we he can used, still use he the ability. Her, he used Hero Way to bring in yeah. the uh, Guest of Honor? Okay, sorry. For some reason, I thought it was in there from the beginning. Uh, that looked like a Force Shame got played by... Yeah, Force Shame got played by Jonathan, dishonoring Hero Way, and then Sungo decides he had, he's had enough and then goes home. But that's going to open the door for to it getting broken, I think, now. Actually, Sungho might be considering playing uh, Kaichiku here, perhaps? No, he's just going to let it happen. He's going to lose an honor for undefended. He's going to get Shouju voided. That's actually not that bad. Discarding another City of Lies. Alpha Squid says those roll cards are pretty cool. Yeah, if uh, any of the stores... Uh, near where you live ran uh, Battle for the Stronghold events. Yep. That's where you could pick up those rolls. If you're ever in Toronto, yeah, I think we got, still have a bunch floating around. We've got an endless supply of them. What do you think? Pressure air? No, fire. Yeah, I like I like fire. Well, he's gonna honor Shoju with the fire ring. Yeah, and then that gives him a, what five military force. It does. It also gives him a little bit of defense against any voice of honor that Jonathan yep. wants to try to set up. Yeah, that's a good play. So, so yeah. quick break here. Things are I think things are slowly spiraling out of control for Jonathan now. His uh. 
Yeah, it looks like Sungho is going to get another break this turn as well. He's going to go for Earth, probably? No. He's just going to take the two fade off the air ring. Um, so a military conflict on Manicured Garden. Daidoji Eric says, still has a guess with three fate though. That's not bad for Scorpion. Uh, I agree with you, but I think th the problem with that, it was, it came out maybe uh, two turns too late. Yeah, yeah nine he's, fate is definitely good. I mean, he's going to have the chance to play Heroey again next turn off the Black Alley Hideaway. He's yeah. got Kachiko in hand. Yeah. He, I mean, he's got no shortage of characters. He doesn't need to rely on the events like he normally might. So one more undefended honor lost. <laughs> this next uh, draw phase is going to be interesting. Uh, I think Sungo is going to start bidding five again. Yeah, no reason not to. I don't think. Well, he wants he wants to um, he wants to g oh, oh, turn his box on. Yeah. But see, now that Jonathan's at four honor, he may just not. Right. It's like, like yeah. it's, so what I mean by that is like he may not even bid five, right? He may bid, Sungo may bid four again. Yeah. If, if Jonathan's thinking of bidding three or two. Actually, if Jonathan bid two, that would be pretty good for Sungho. Because I, I think at this stage of the game, like, yes, Sungho could eventually win from Dishonor, but Do Jonathan could, can draw it out long enough to yeah. make it. Uh, incredibly annoying and throw you a lot of resources, but so now a lot of things two, coming in with two provinces broken. I think you just go for the province break and then use the the lack of honor on Jonathan's side to um, exacerbate the card advantage that you have already. So you had nine left. Yeah, you had, had nine. Nine, nine, at you the had start nine left turn. in the previous round. Yep. So Sungo just had a was just spending so much money that he couldn't remember how much he spent. <laughs> Rich people problems. Yeah. All this money, I don't know. And uh, Lustrous Plagiarist came down. We saw that. Uh, yeah, Plagiarist and Heroi again. Brash Samurai. Fights. Yeah, and a Calo Delegate. I think, I think the top card Jonathan. of Jonathan's deck is actually a Force Shame, which is pretty good for a Plagiarist. Uh, yeah, it looks like that. And all three of Sung Ho's characters are courtiers anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like, I'm using that now. So I feel like, hmm. Actually, the interesting thing is, I can you use Illustrious Plagiarist through a Guest of Honor, right? You can, because it gives Illustrious Plagiarist yeah, the action, right? Yeah, you can, yeah. That's interesting interaction I didn't think about. So yeah, maybe you... Uh, Oh man, that's a big card at the end of Sungho's hand there. Not that it really matters this match per se, but why, why is it that they really always draw that? Oh, Cloud the Mind, nice. Why is it that they, people always draw that card when it doesn't matter? Anymore? <laughs> I want to see if someone play that yeah, card. Yeah, no. right, we've bring, seen people bring up the card we're talking about. Just, yeah, I don't want to say it out loud, but oh. yeah, it's like the it's the best card in Scorpion that never gets played. I feel. But this is also may not be the right matchup for it. Like, I feel like it's more an anti-dragon card than anything. I mean, it's still pretty good because they want to invest a lot of money into their Guest of Honor. You could really disrupt them sure. by taking the Guest of Honor off the board earlier yep. than they expect. So Shoju's attacking here. Probably, oh, political, interesting. Here's a shameful display. I don't, never mind. Well, it's political with uh, Shoju, right? I mean, does anyone really want to defend that? I mean, not very many people can. You send the Cal Delegate, it dies. I mean, eventually. like it, He can honor himself, but... Actually, Cal Delegate dying is probably not that bad, but I... Yeah. Okay. 
So, so what, Rash, Sam, Rash Samurai. Okay. They triggered. Uh, That's he, interesting. Triggered he used the, yeah. He used the shameful to honor and dishonor, right? So the Brass Samurai still has the. Uh, so he said he's using the action ability. I think. Oh, sorry. He. He used the the four shame off of the off plagiarist. the plagiarist. Yep. That makes sense, right? Because if uh, if he dishonored, well, John can just rehonor him. Himself, yeah, I mean, he, right? he was still ahead for now, so yeah. there's no rush, I don't think. The, the thing is, I see two for shames in Sung Ho's hand too. So if, I think that was that was still the right play ultimately. But it looks like he's gonna go ahead and kill off the uh, try to kill it off anyway. Yeah, that seems. Yeah. Yeah. So it, 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 what he's trying to do here basically is get him dishonored so he can now use Shoju's ability to kill him. I mean, I'm assuming that's what he's trying to do here. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, voices honored. Cancel the, that last force change. Oh, okay. All right. Yep. He's still got a force force edict to cancel the voice of honor. Uh, he really wants this guy dead. <laughs> you you know what? This this actually makes sense too because. Uh, I mean, you, you look at the dials, right? Jonathan only drew two cards this turn. He's forcing Jonathan to play a bunch of cards from his hand, and he's pressuring the Earth Ring now. So this is pretty smart by Slunko. He's just he's getting Jonathan to spew a bunch of value here. Right. I mean, what are you defending here? You just want to keep him around for one more round? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, there we go. Okay. But I guess you're all, it's not just that. It's also the honor for an undefended... I think Jonathan realized that too, because he did have a second voice of honor in his hand. I guess he could have tried to, but yeah, yeah. using Shoju's ability here to give a minus one, minus one. Actually, I can, Mi I I think the other reason why he went one political, to, not minus one, minus one. Sorry, minus one political. But uh, I think the other reason he went so hard off killing Brass Samurai is that now he, uh, Jonathan loses one more honor for oh, undefended. Yeah, I know. Ooh, and the Earth Ring hits the uh, political policy debate. Not that there are any. Well, there are some okay targets on his. On uh, there is one target on Sunko's side. Oh. Did Netrunner end or something? <laughs> is it over? <laughs> do we have a Do we have a world champion for Netrunner? Is I that why? Know, no, it's not. They're all on uh, the YouTube okay. side. Or maybe it was. Yeah. So Jonathan with a political conflict with his clouded guest of honor going into secret cash. Hmm. Censure. That's a pretty good one. Censure. Fate worse than death. Yeah, I think I'd take the censure here. Were you checking to see if Gold Squadron was streaming? No, it's was a uh, Hexiled Gamer uh, oh, okay. ended a stream. So it was a, yeah. is it a uh, X-Wing streamer, so I don't know okay. how many folks are interested in L5R, but if you're sticking around to watch some L5R, we welcome to the stream. Actually, speaking of sticking around, so uh, oh, yeah. do, do we want to showcase that sure. game? Okay. So we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it a little more after this, uh, oh, yeah, this match is over. Sure. Well, well, yeah, well, we should let people know so if they want to stick around. Okay, well... Yeah, so right, we'll talk about it after in okay. the round. Crane is uh, Alpha Squid asked if Crane was at two honor. That's correct. He was a three honor before the uh, Shoju attack, and because it was undefended, he lost one. So what was that? Uh, four shame. I see. Calling in favors on Cloud the Mine. Oh, okay. Yep. That, that's generally what I see Crane using their yeah. calling in favors for. And there's the four G dick to cancel it. Nice. Oh, boy.
Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think. Uh, I, I smell dishonor loss here. Right, because he's. Because Sung Ho, Sung Ho gets one more conflict. It's going to be unopposed. Although, although his last conflict is a military conflict, and the only character he has is a uh, dishonor, dishonor plagiarist with yeah. zero. But if he can win the next conflict, he'll make the opponent lose one honor, and then it's. Uh, to try to force shame uh, her way here. He went for the water ring too. So bows here. Why did why did Jonathan go for the water ring? Yeah. Anyway, it doesn't matter because it doesn't look like he's going to be winning right. this one. Force shame directly. Nothing happens. Yeah. Well, no. Uh, Sun Ho will win because he's got the political favor. Y yeah. Sorry. That's what I mean. Um, but then, uh, so that means that. If Sungo has a military buff, he can go after Stronghold. Yep. And attack it. But the Kalo Cal Delegate can still defend to prevent the. No, I think, he, I think he pulled in oh, the Cal Delegate. Sorry. I think he pulled in the Cal de Delegate into this fight. Oh, did he? Yeah, because he defended, he defended with Yoga Hurui. That's how it got bowed. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I believe if. Unless Jonathan can play another character from his hand or something. Then uh, the next attack by Sungho is going to yeah. be unopposed. It, it wouldn't it matter because it's the air ring anyways. And he only yeah. needs to. Well, he just needs to find a way to pump the force. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Fire ring. Interesting. Why? Rally to the cause. Yeah, that's not going to get switched. <laughs> Why fire ring? Why not air ring here? Because uh... air ring is pretty much game. Because Kyle Delegate's going to leave play. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I mean, there are still. I mean, either way, if tricks. it's not defended. There you go. Okay. Steward of Law. Jonathan still has one, uh, one for shame left still? Yeah, or? he does. Oh, I see a Jirojin's curse in uh, Sungo's hand. Actually, that's hilarious. Well, eh. If. if uh, if if Jonathan Jonathan had one less fate on his uh, guests of honor, Jurgen's curse would have won the game here. It looks like uh, looks like Jonathan won that conflict. Yeah. 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 It looks like he doesn't uh, he doesn't lose this turn. But that's going to put uh, Jonathan at one honor still. Huh. I guess he wants to make sure he gets that honor. I'm surprised that he honored the... Oh, Noble Sacrifice. That's why he no uh, honor this. So Cow Delegate leaving Plague lets him yeah. uh, honor another character. So he honored the Steward of Law. And as a fate action, he chose to play Noble Sacrifice, sacrificing... That's a pretty good play the, by... The uh, Steward of Law to get rid of Shoju. Yeah, that's a pretty good play by, it is pretty good by play. Jonathan. And that put him back up to two honor, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so what uh, Victor was alluding to before is I've picked up a couple uh, starters for Warhammer, Warhammer Champions, which is a new CCG from um, Games Workshop and Play Fusion uh, just seemed like it had some interesting mechanics. The folks at Team Covenant were talking pretty highly about it, so we've been kind of playing around with it. Not sure if we're going to uh, invest in the game in a longer term, but uh, we thought we might do a uh, a game or two on stream here, just uh, see how it plays on camera. Uh, so, if folks are interested in that game, we'll kind of be doing it as a bit of a, a teaching game. Uh, if you want to stick around after this to watch, so it'll probably take us. Uh, you know, 10, 10 minutes or so to ten fifteen to deal with prizes and then uh, get it set up. Yeah, I, I, Travis introduced me to it and um, not sure if I'm going to get into it myself, but definitely seems really interesting. The, the, the card scanning mechanic where yeah. you can uh, do the, the referral program they the have. The referral program too. I guess other people have been doing that with uh, QR codes yep. in the packs. 
but I just they have a really but as their someone, app is pretty good in terms yeah, of doing like pure card scanning. Because you told me that you've been you've been taking some machine learning classes and you were impressed by the uh, well, just compared to what I've seen in terms of other card scanning games, just in terms of how quickly it would pick up a card. Right. Uh, and each of the card when they scan in card. Well, anyways, we might talk about that yeah. when we <laughs> if we do that game. We'll keep focused here. Right. They both bid one. We're into this uh, round. Jonathan is deciding if he's going to declare conflict there. He's got a couple of brash samurai, so he's got a few options. Uh, I'm guessing. I mean, he's got the both plagiarists. Maybe one did copy the noble sacrifice. It's not inconceivable. He, he would have. Yeah. This looks like a military conflict, maybe. Oh, yeah, going for the air ring. Yeah, yeah Sung Ho knows it. Oh, that's so brutal, though. He's going after He's <laughs> He gave him another secret cash trigger. Oh, Maze of Illusion. What did he take there? Yeah, I didn't see what he grabbed. No, this, that one would stay stand, right? In this game. Yeah, you don't, yeah, because it's... You don't. It's not a specific type of card that you're looking for. You don't have to prove to your opponent that. Uh, no, no. I, I just meant that, like you said, another secret cache. But I don't. I don't think he know that was there this, in this game. No, he did. Oh, did he? He attacked it last turn. Oh, okay, sorry. That that turn with the, the uh, guest of honor. Oh, right. That, yeah, yeah, that was a secret cache attack. Oh, did he go with both samurais? Uh, I think he really just wants to win this one. Because I guess he's just worried about getting assassinated or yeah. having the one guy controlled. Fair. Because if you control the one guy, then the other guy can just yeah. honor. <laughs> we, need to get, we need to get this table mic situation figured out. It's a yeah. lot easier to follow if we can hear what they're saying. Political void on the stronghold again uh, with his lone plagiarist... Got four shamed, I guess. Oh, but by Ishika Chico, the finisher. Is Jonathan defending? Even if he is, like, that's. Yeah, yeah that's game. That's game. Well, good game to both players. Uh, Sung Ho goes 3 0 today, so he'll take the, take the day.